Hi, I'm Anthony Chapman and I'm a tutor here at Point Break Music School. I've got over 20 years industry experience as a producer, engineer, mixer and composer, working with the likes of Franz Ferdinand and Claxons. And you're watching Nine Lives of Ableton. If you're new to making electronic music, these videos should give you an overview of how to get started using Live and an idea of what it's capable of. If you're experienced with other platforms but new to Live, you'll probably find these videos really useful as well. Hi and welcome to the third video in the Nine Lives of Ableton series. Today we're going to take a look at instruments, devices and racks. And I want to look at the simpler instrument. This is a sample based instrument and I've loaded in the preset ABS Pipe 1 on this new track. Let's have a listen to the part that I've recorded with it. Okay, so you can hear it's a pretty standard kind of percussive dancey sound. And I've sent it to a little bit to the echo in the mixer. The echo's running off send B. And the audio's coming back on return B, you can see there. So, that's our basic sound which we've dropped on the track. I've programmed some MIDI into a clip to play that part. Now, what I want to do is I want to have some reverb on that track. Now, normally I would use the reverb on a send and return, but I want to have a dedicated reverb for this sound. Okay, so I'm going to go over to the library here, go into the audio effects category and find reverb. Now I'm going to drop that down and look at the presets. Let's go into special. Okay. And I'm going to have uh, reflections. That's what I want to put on there. So I'm going to drag that after the simpler. Now in live, devices and instruments are arranged, arranged in what are called chains. And chains run from left to right in these areas. So the sound starts with the simpler instrument, then it goes through the reverb to the right of it. And if I carried on adding effects after that, the sound would continue through all of the devices in the chain. Okay, so let's have a listen now. I've got that reverb there. Okay, so I can play with the dry and wet balance. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Okay, so now I've got those two together, let's say I like the way that reverb sounds with this instrument and I always want to try to keep those together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group those together into an instrument rack. So the quickest way to do that at this point is to select both of these, right click and choose group. Alternatively you can use the shortcut Command and G. So now these are grouped together into a rack. So if I double click on the nameplate here on the left hand side, folds it all up into that small version of the rack. Double click again and it brings them all back. Now, if I bring up this section here, the chain list, if I click to turn that on. So here we have, this is our chain that we've created, the ABS pipe one chain, okay? Now, what I can do is I can continue to drop instruments into here to create subsequent chains that run on the same track. So just to illustrate that, I'm going to go back to my instruments section and I'm going to go down to the vintage category and I'm looking for a sound called Sit Clown. Here it is. And I drag that down here and drop that in there. So now I have my ABS pipe chain and as you can see when I click on that we see my instrument and my reverb and then I also have this Sit Clown instrument. So let's hear them playing together. Okay, so I'm starting to get interested in what's going on here. The balance isn't quite right. I'm going to turn down that new sound a little bit. I'm also going to transpose it up an octave as well because I think it sounds quite sort of deep. Yeah, cool. So that's adding another dimension to it. And of course, I can balance this up with the volume controls here. I can solo different chains. I can turn different chains on and off. I can even pan them as well. So let's just try panning one chain 
one way and the other chain the other. So we've got a lot of control uh, at this point with the chains. And also, I want to go into the sick clown sound and I'm going to go up to audio effects and I'm going to bring in Redux. And Redux is a bit crusher effect that comes with live and it's uh, got a really sort of nasty sound. Nasty in a good way though. So let's have a quick listen to that. <laughs> That's really cool. Okay, so that's sounding pretty cool. I've now got two very, very different sounds running on the same track, running from the same MIDI, and I can sort of choose to mix between them. I can do all sorts of different processing on different chains. And also, I can now go and save this to my library. So I'm going to rename this to nine lives rack and then I click the save button here and there it is in my library. In the next video we're going to do some automation on our clips and we're also going to revisit the rack and using the macro controls. At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for Direct Video Response and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor, he downloads it and then pushes record on the screen capturing software and evaluates your work, so basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We have found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on a course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.